and quickly gets the ball back in. So a sharp hit to left field results in the first down of the inning for Kelsey Wiesman. Kiocho is still the runner at first base. Here's another look at the drive to the left. Reed just able to camp out right underneath it. Quickly gets the ball back in to second base. Bianca Mejia will step in with one out in the bottom of the seventh inning. 214 batting average so far this season. Still looking for her first hit of the night. The fly ball to right field. A ground out to second base. She'd like to find a pitch that she can turn on and pull down to the left, left side of the field. And the first pitch, a drive to right center field. It's going back to the wall. And it's a home run. Oh, my goodness. Bianca Mejia, a two-run home run to right center field. A walk-off home run for Bianca Mejia and the Carolina Diamonds. Go to three games to none in a four-game series with the Akron races, Racers. A big two-run walk-off home run and a nice effort by Lisa Modulin who goes through the fence to make the play. And that'll be our player of the game, the Boomba player of the game, Bianca Mejia. What a time to get your first hit of the night. A two-run walk-off home run in the bottom of the seventh inning. And the Carolina Diamonds come away with the win again tonight. Let's take another look at it. Lisa Norris has pitched just outside, and Mejia, who had been hitting to the right side all night, takes this one. A towering fly ball to right center field for the two-run home run. And that'll do it for us here at McCormick Field. A big fifth inning, Rachel Folden with a home run, Kelsey Wiesman with a home run, and the two-run shot, a walk-off home run by Bianca Mejia. And it was her diamonds to come away with the four to three victory over the racers. Be sure and join us again tomorrow night right here where the diamonds will finish off their four game set with the racers at 7.05 right here from McCormick Field. For everyone here, I'm Kip Childers. Thanks for joining us, everyone.